symmetry properties. But now we're going to introduce some of the strange and unusual properties of the unit circle, particularly how various different values around it are in fact symmetrical. So we shall go and have a look at this table here. As you can see, I've got all of the degrees mentioned there. I've got a gap for radians, and then I've got the sine, cos, and tan of each. So what are the instructions? Convert each of the degrees into radians, then using a calculator, calculate the sine, cosine, and tangent of each angle. Ensure your calculator is on the right setting to three decimal places. Okay, well, let's go and do exactly that. So 30 degrees... You might remember what the conversion is. What we'll need to do to get that into radians is to times it by pi over 180. And when we have done that, that gets us to pi on 6. For 150, again, we times it by pi over 180. And that will get us to 5 pi on 6, 210 multiplied by pi over 180 is going to get us 7 pi on 6, and 330 times pi over 180 is going to be 11 pi over 6. So now we just need to enter these into a calculator. I'm going to use my Casio class pad to be able to solve these. I've uh, set the settings, set the settings? I've set the settings to decimal and I've made sure to put radians in there. So I could have got the same result by using degrees, but since we have gone to the effort of converting to radians, I am going to use the radians. Sine pi on six. Sine 5 pi on 6. Sine 7 pi on 6. And sine 11 pi on 6. Now that's interesting. They've all come up as very similar answers. We have two positive answers of 0 0.500 and two po negative answers of negative 0 0.500. I've put those two extra zeros in there because the question said to do it to three decimal places. And now I've done the cos equivalent of each of these. I get 0 0.866, negative 0 0.866 negative 0 0.866 and positive 0 0.866. And for tan, I get various versions of 0 0.577, either positive 0 0.577 or negative 0 0.577. So, so far, these four seemingly random degrees or radians have resulted in very similar answers, either the positive or negative versions of which. There's possibly... A pattern. Let's have a look at the unit circle. We're needing to mark 30 degrees from the origin and draw a line to the circle. And what we'll need to do is label a point with coordinates. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure it up and then we're going to label the coordinates once we've drawn the picture. Of course, remember that the radius for a unit circle is equal to 1. So if we put in all of our coordinates, we have 1, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, and 0, negative 1. So what we have done is we have measured out our 30 degrees. I should make sure to put 30 degrees here. And we've got our coordinates. Now, as we have established earlier, we already know that this first angle is the same as saying cos theta. And this second, um, did I say first angle? I mean, first coordinate or first ordinate is the same as saying cos of the angle. And the y ordinate is sine of the angle. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the next uh, thing here, which says to add a line where it's 150 degrees and label the point with coordinates. So we've drawn a line at 150 degrees, but we cannot use trigonometry as we did before to find the points because we cannot make a right angle triangle. So let's see if we can use symmetry properties to solve. If we can see from the graph, and if I was to draw a horizontal line from the coordinates we found to the, the, the new point over on the left, we can see it's directly symmetrical. Now, treating the vertical axis as a normal vertical axis, so that means on the left-hand side of the vertical axis are the negative x values, on the right-hand side is the positive ones, we can actually label this side as being negative 0.87 because it's on the negative side of the x-axis and then we have 0.50. So we have now found and let's see let's confirm shall we if what we have just done there with the unit circle is true. And by gum, it's true. We have got 0 0.50, O is the sine of 150 degrees, and negative 0 0.866, or negative 0 0.87, is the cos of 150 degrees. Can we do the same for 210 and 330? So I've drawn this line at 210 degrees, and again, we cannot use a right angle triangle necessarily to be able to determine uh, if this, what the trigonometric values are for this coordinates, but we can use symmetry properties. And as we can see that the coordinates at the top here are symmetrical to the coordinates at the bottom. So here, the x value is still going to be at negative 0.87, but this time the y value, or the sine of the angle, is equal to negative 0.50. So now we just need to prove to see, did cos of 210 degrees equal to negative 0.87? And did sine of 210 degrees equal to negative 0.50? Let's refer to our table. And to quote Brooklyn Nine-Nine, bing pot. Here we go, negative 0.500 is our sine value and negative 0.866 is our cos value. So now we just need to go and have a look at what 330 degrees is. Now, we know according to this that the angle the sine of 330 degrees is equal to negative 0 0.500 and the cos of 330 degrees is equal to 0 0.866. Let's see whether or not this is confirmed by using symmetry. So I've drawn my line here at 330 degrees and now we can have we have two lots of symmetry that we can play with. We can either refer to this top line here or this bottom line here. So if I refer to that top line, so it's been negatively reflected, we can see that it's exactly the same point on the x-axis, uh, just that it's gone to the exact same distance underneath. Similarly, it's parallel, well, it's the exact y reflection from that, uh, from the 210, it is definitely at 0 0.87 and negative 0 0.50 and we have confirmed using the unit circle uh, that we can use symmetry properties to solve. So rather than having the table and a, and a unit circle to go and confirm things, how can we use the numbers themselves to help prove these sorts of things? Did I know in advance uh, which ones were going to be positive and negative? Well, actually, I kind of did. First things first, we're going to have a look at the pattern involving the numbers. Now, do you, did you spot any patterns between 30, 150, 210, and 330? It's all right if you haven't. It's a very difficult pattern to spot. The pattern is that they all relate to that 30 degrees at the top. 
they all relate to adding and subtracting from the horizontal angle. What on earth do I mean? Well, 30 degrees, I can rewrite as saying zero degrees plus 30 degrees, or zero plus pi on six. 150 is the same as saying 180, take away 30 degrees, or What's 180 degrees in radians? That's pi. Pi can be expressed as saying 6 pi on 6, because the 6's cancel out, and that would be pi, minus a pi on 6. 210, that's 180 plus 30 degrees, or 6 pi on 6 plus a pi on 6. And then 330 is 360 degrees minus 30 degrees, or what would be 2 pi? Well, that would be 12 pi on 6. Minus pi on 6. So you'll notice the pattern here is all about plussing or minusing the 30 degrees or the pi on 6. And then all of the first numbers, the 0, 180, the 360, are all the angles at that horizontal. So therein lies the pattern of how we can solve with symmetry. So how did I know that this was either going to be positive or negative answers? Well, this is where we refer to the quadrants. Each quadrant has a rule, if you like, that if you do the sine, cos, or tan of an angle that lies in that quadrant, it will always be positive or always be negative. For example, if that angle lies in the first quadrant, for example, if it's in between 0 and 90 degrees, or between 0 and pi on 2, then all every sine, cos, and tan will be positive in there. In the second quadrant, only sine is positive. In the third quadrant, only tan is positive. And in the fourth quadrant, only cos is positive. We can confirm with our table. So the first row is in the first quadrant. The second row is the second quadrant. The third row is the third quadrant. And the fourth row is the fourth quadrant. You can see here, in the first quadrant, all of the numbers are positive. In the second row, only the sine is positive. In that third row, only the tan is positive. And in the fourth row, only the cosine is positive. And this works no matter how many multiples of the circle you go in. So you might remember from previous questions when we're looking at the unit circle, we don't just stop at 360 degrees or 2 pi, we can keep going or in reverse. So for example, if we were going in the negative direction, so for instance, we start at zero and we go to negative pi on two, go to negative pi and negative three pi on two, the quadrants still all work the same. So between zero and negative pi on two, that's the fourth quadrant and only cos is positive there. Only tan is positive between negative pi on 2 and negative pi. Only sine is positive between negative pi and negative 3 pi on 2. And only, uh, and all of them, sorry, and all trigonometric values are positive between negative 3 pi on 2 and negative 2 pi.